Hello, welcome to Bible class. Today we're going to be looking at 1 Samuel chapter 3, the story where God calls Samuel. 1 Samuel chapter 3. And the reason I have these lampstands here uh, in the pictures is because uh, the Bible says that the lamp was, was the candles, were, the lamp was still shining. The lamp had not been put out yet. Uh, so I have the lamps here. Uh, so the story is from 1 Samuel chapter 3. God calls Samuel, uh, and God called Samuel when he was very, very young. Uh, and if you're watching this, you might be very young too. Uh, and uh, God is calling to us and trying to get us to follow him. Uh, and here we see that very clearly in the story where God called Samuel in 1 Samuel chapter 3. Before we get to the story, though, we're going to do a few other things. Uh, for example, we're going to start off with a prayer. So we're going to hold our hands and Close our eyes and bow our head. Let's pray. Sovereign God, Lord, we thank you so much for today. We thank you for the many blessings you've given to us. Lord, you've blessed us immensely. We thank you, Lord, for, for calling to us and, and trying to get us to follow you. Lord, help us to answer your call and, and help us to listen to your voice. Thank you for your son, Jesus Christ, his coming to earth, his death, his burial, his resurrection. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's continue. <clears throat> then we're going to start off, uh, we're going to continue with some singing. Uh, and our first song is The Fruit of the Spirit. And this helps us to remember the Bible verse about the fruit of the Spirit. The fruit of the Spirit's not a banana. The fruit of the Spirit's not a banana. If you want to be a banana, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the Spirit. The fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. The fruit of the Spirit's not an apple. The fruit of the Spirit's not an apple. If you want to be an apple, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the Spirit. The fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And if you want, you can pause the video right now and do as many other verses as you want with other types of fruit. Uh, but I'm going to continue on, uh, and we're going to go to the next song, which is Jesus Loves the Little Children. Uh, like Samuel, when he was young and, and God called him. Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. Red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. Jesus died for all the children, all the children of the world. Red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in his sight. Jesus died for all the children of the world. Our next song is This Little Light. Uh, and just like the lampstand was still shining, uh, it had not been put out yet. Uh, I pray that our lights are always shining uh, and shining God's light so that others may see. Do you have your light ready? This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This is the light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine all the time, let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine all the time, let it shine. Don't let Satan it up, I'm gonna let it shine. Don't let Satan it up, I'm gonna let it shine. Don't let Satan it up, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine all the time, let it shine. And our next song is, I have decided to follow Jesus. And just like Samuel decided to listen to God and to follow what God wanted, I hope that we too decide to follow Jesus. And we have three verses here, and we're also going to sing another verse in a different language to remind us that God uh, loves all the children of the world, red and yellow, black and white, uh, those that are like us, those that are different from us, uh, and God wants us to reach out to all of them, and he wants people from every uh, nation and language and people to decide to follow Jesus. 
I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. Though none go with me, still I will follow. Though none go with me, still I will follow. Though none go with me, still I will follow. No turning back, no turning back. My cross I'll carry till I see Jesus. My cross I'll carry till I see Jesus. My cross I'll carry till I see Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. And now in a different language. He decidido seguir a Cristo. He decidido seguir a Cristo. He decidido seguir a Cristo. No vuelvo atrás. No vuelvo atrás. We're going to continue on, and now we're going to review our Bible verses from the last couple of weeks and get to our Bible verse from this week. And to review the Bible verses, I'm going to uh, pull up something else on the computer. Here we have the uh, remind the cards to help us remember the Bible verses. Uh, and then we have the Bible verses as well, so they're like flashcards. And here we have a review from a couple weeks ago. Uh, and we have uh, all these faiths. One is by itself and one is accompanied by other faiths. Uh, there are other faiths that are with it. Uh, so one is alone and one is, one is with others. One is accompanied by, by other faiths. So what is the Bible verse here? Do you remember? Faith by itself, if it is not accompanied by action, is dead. James 2, 17. So we have one faith that's by itself, and you have a lot of faiths that are all together in company. They're, they're accompanied. Uh, so the Bible verse is, faith by itself, it isn't, if it is not accompanied by action, is dead. James 2, 17. Our next Bible verse uh, that we are reviewing uh, is... Uh, this treasure chest, it's full of treasure. Uh, and what is it that we're supposed to treasure? And where is it that we're supposed to treasure it? You remember that Bible verse? I have treasured the words of his mouth more than my daily bread. Uh, so here we are treasuring the words of God's mouth. His mouth is God's mouth. And this is uh, from Job 23, verse 12. I have treasured the words of his mouth more than than my daily bread. Job 23, 12. And now our Bible verse from this week. Uh, the thing to help us remember the verse is a train. Uh, so the, the first word in the Bible verse that we're going to be having is train. Uh, do you know any verses that are uh, that start with train? Uh, this is the one that we have. Train a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not turn from it. Proverbs 22.6. So we have the train in the picture, uh, and that's to make us think of the verse that begins with train. And the Bible verse is, train a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not turn from it. Proverbs 22.6. Train a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not turn from it. Proverbs 22.6. So there are our Bible verses. Uh, and uh, the reason we have the story of Samuel with this Bible verse of training a child uh, in the way he should go is that Samuel was young when God called him, uh, and he grew up serving in the temple. Uh, Eli trained him to serve in the temple, and he continued serving all his life. He was the last judge, uh, a great judge and prophet for God. So here we have the timeline of the Bible, and I'm going to show you where in the Bible this story happens. So here we have uh, in the beginning when God created the heavens and the earth. So the creation, after that we have Noah and the flood, and then we get to the patriarchs. Do you remember who the patriarchs are? Uh, the first one that we talk about a lot is Abraham, and his wife was Sarah. Abraham and Sarah had a son named Isaac. Isaac's wife's name was Rebecca. So we have Abraham and Sarah, Isaac and Rebecca. Isaac and Rebecca had twins, Jacob and Esau. And then Jacob had 12 sons. That's a lot of brothers. So those are patriarchs. Uh, eventually, 
They were in Egypt for a long, 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 long time. Uh, but then Moses led them out. They went through the Red Sea uh, and made it to the land of Canaan. Uh, and Joshua led them into the land of Canaan. And uh, they, they conquered Jericho and had a lot of other battles. Uh, eventually, we get to the time of the judges. And uh, with Deborah and Samson and Gideon, and in the time of the judges uh, is when Samuel started to live. Did, Samuel is known as the final judge. He's the last judge before we get to the United Kingdom with Saul and David. And Samuel was actually the one who anointed, who poured the oil on Saul's head and on David's head. Samuel was the one who anointed the first two kings of Israel. So we had the United Kingdom and the divided kingdom. Uh, the people were in exile with uh, Daniel and the lion's den and Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego with Esther. Eventually they came back to the promised land with Ezra and Nehemiah. Uh, later we have the life of Christ when Jesus was born uh, and all of his life, uh, his miracles, his parables, uh, his crucifixion and his resurrection. And after his resurrection, we get to the early church. Uh, but we, won't, we won't cover all of that today. Today we're uh, in the period of the judges right before the United Kingdom because Samuel was the one who anointed the first two kings. So we're going to go back to uh, where I have the Bible verses. Uh, so the Bible verses, we looked at the timeline, and now we're going to get into the story. First Samuel chapter 3, God calls Samuel. Now the boy Samuel was ministering to the Lord in the presence of Eli, and the word of the Lord was rare in those days. There was no frequent vision. At that time, Eli, whose eyesight had begun to grow dim so that he could not see, was lying down in his own place. The lamp of God had not yet gone out. So that's why all these pictures that we have have the, the light still shining. The lamp of God had not yet gone out. I don't know if they would have had uh, candles. They might not have had candles. They might have had a little clay lamps. I'm not sure what it would have looked like. But the lamp of God had not yet gone out, and Samuel was lying down in the temple of the Lord, where the ark of God was. Then the Lord called Samuel, and he said, Here I am, and ran to Eli and said, Here I am, for you called me. But he said, I did not call you. Lie down again. So he went and lay down. And the Lord called again, Samuel. And Samuel rose and went to Eli and said, Here I am, for you called me. But he said, I did not call you, my son. Lie down again. Now Samuel did not yet know the Lord, and the word of the Lord had not yet been revealed to him. So here Samuel is really confused. He thinks Eli is talking to him, but Eli is not talking to him. Eli is trying to sleep. Uh, and Samuel keeps coming and waking him up, uh, wondering what he's wanting, but Eli is not calling him. And the Lord called Samuel again the third time, and he rose and went to Eli and said, Here I am, for you called me. Then Eli perceived that the Lord was calling the boy. Therefore, Eli said to Samuel, go lie down. And if he calls you, you shall say, speak, Lord, for your servant hears. So Samuel went and lay down in his place. Ah, Eli figured out what was happening. Now he knows. And the Lord came and stood calling as at the other time, Samuel, Samuel. And Samuel said, Speak, for your servant hears. Then the Lord said to Samuel, Behold, I am about to do a thing in Israel, uh, at which the two ears of everyone who hears it will dingle. On that day I will fulfill against Eli all that I have spoken concerning his house from beginning to end. And I declare to him that I am about to punish his house forever for the iniquity that he knew because his sons were blaspheming God, and he did not restrain them. Therefore I swear to the house of Eli, that the iniquity of Eli's house shall not be atoned for by sacrifice or offering forever. So here we see that Eli did not train his sons up when they were young. Unfortunately, he, he did not restrain them. He did not train them up. But Samuel is being trained up, as he should, so that he will not depart from it. So continuing with the story, Samuel lay until morning. Then he opened the doors of the house of the Lord. And Samuel was afraid to tell the vision to Eli. 
But Eli called Samuel and said, Samuel, son, and said, here I am. And Eli said, what was it that he told you? Do not hide it from me. May God do to you and more also if you hide anything from me of all that he told you. So Samuel told him everything and hid nothing from him. And he said, it is the Lord. Let him do what seems good to him. And Samuel grew and the Lord was with him and let none of his words fall to the ground. And all Israel from Dan, which is way, way in the north, to Beersheba, which is way in the south. So all of Israel, the whole length of the country, knew that Samuel was established as a prophet of the Lord. And the Lord appeared again at Shiloh, for the Lord revealed himself to Samuel at Shiloh by the word of the Lord. So that's our story for today. Uh, and here we see that Samuel was being trained when he was young, being brought up to know the Lord and to hear his voice. And if I remember correctly, Samuel means uh, God hears. Uh, and now we want Samuel to hear God uh, as well. So we don't want just God to hear, but we need to hear God. We need to listen for him uh, and, and know his word. And that way we can be trained up in the way of the Lord. So if you would like to do a coloring sheet as part of Bible class, uh, it, it can be found at that website. And this is uh, what it looks like. Here's the timeline and here's the coloring sheet. Uh, Samuel, a young boy, uh, waking up in the night from his bed uh, when he hears the word of the Lord. So that is the coloring sheet if you would like to do it. And if you would like to do a craft, uh, you can do a craft of helping you remember the Bible verse, making a, a flashcard for the Bible verse. So you can make a train, uh, which is the first word of the Bible verse that we have is our memory verse. And the verse is, train a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not turn from it. Proverbs 22, 6. Train a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not turn from it. Proverbs 22, 6. And that's what was happening to Samuel. Samuel was being trained in the way he should go. Samuel was being trained to listen to God. There was our coloring sheet, and that was our craft. And we're going to wrap up our uh, Bible class with one more song. And we're going to sing, I have decided to follow Jesus again. Um, reminding us that uh, just as Samuel decided to, to listen to God and to follow what he wanted, that we too should follow, follow God, follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. Though none go with me, still I will follow. Though none go with me, still I will follow. Though none go with me, still I will follow. No turning back, no turning back. My cross I'll carry till I see Jesus. My cross I'll carry till I see Jesus. My cross I'll carry till I see Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. Thank you for coming back to Bible class. And I pray that you always follow Jesus and do not turn back. I pray that you always listen for God's voice, uh, and that you follow what, what God tells us in the Bible. Uh, may you be blessed immensely. Thank you for coming, and have a wonderful day, a wonderful week.